Hi, I'm Christopher Holtby, and I'm a co-founder of Wealth Advisors Trust Company. In this video, we're going to cover three easy and simple answers about what is a directed trust, the best states to use it in, and the pros and cons. A directed trust and the language in the trust document separates the duties and responsibilities from the trustee to other people, which is a good thing because it helps you save money. What it reduces is the legal risk to the trustee and most of the time, and you should expect this, also reduces the trustee fee. 45 states have directed trust laws, but really only six capture the spirit of all the benefits of what directed trust laws will give you. Think of it this way. A traditional bank trust company is in 39 of those 45 states. And they really don't want to give you all the control, even though they say they offer directed trust benefits within a trust document. And the way to think about it is, imagine you owned a Ferrari. You own one in America and you own one in Germany. So if you drive a Ferrari at 150 miles an hour in America, you're going to get a ticket. You'll probably ruin the bottom of the Ferrari. It's going to be a mess. And that's kind of what a traditional trust company is offering in those 39 states with directed trusts. Now, that Ferrari that you own in Germany, you get to go 150 miles an hour, you get no tickets, and you get to enjoy the Ferrari for everything that it was designed for. That is what happens in the best trust states such as Delaware, Nevada, New Hampshire, Tennessee, South Dakota, and Alaska. So the way to look at it is if you want the best out of directed trust laws, use it in one of those six states and make sure that you get the control and choice that you get from a directed trust agreement. A directed trust, the benefits is, is it separates the two most important duties that any trust is required to focus on. Who manages the money and the distributions. So what you get to decide is you don't have to use the corporate trustee to manage the investments. You can use a financial advisor, you can use yourself, you have lots of choices. And on the distributions, you can actually create a distribution committee. Now, that's actually one of the downsides to a director trust because to create a distribution committee is a lot of work. Uh, not impossible, but you just have to think through almost like a board of governors, how people get voted on, how you make hard decisions. You don't want to have an even number or more odd numbers. So just a few more moving parts, but definitely, definitely well worthwhile. But most of the people just use a director trust for investment choices. A directed trust gives two awesome things. Two, control, choice. You can add this in a very simple way to give you everything you want that most people never think about. Thanks so much and let us know if you have any questions.